As we use logarithms to help us solve exponential equations, sometimes they require a little bit more algebra in order to get to the answer. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Let's take a look at problems like 3 to the 5x equals 7. We found out in our previous video, if the variable's in the exponent and we can't get the same base on both sides, we can take a log of both sides. So I'm gonna take a log base 10 of both sides. That's gonna grab the exponent and move it out front. So now I have 5x times the log of three equals the log of seven. Now we really are just trying to solve for that x, which is multiplied by a five and multiplied by a log of 3. To get rid of that multiplication, we can divide by both the 5 and the log 3 on both sides. To get rid of the 5 and the log 3, leaving just x equals log 7 over 5 log 3. Now again, when I put this in my calculator, it's going to open up parentheses for the logs. We want to make sure we close the parentheses on the log as well. In addition, something else to be careful of is if there's more than one thing going on in part of the fraction, notice the denominator has a five and a log in it. With more than one thing going on in there, I'm gonna put an extra set of parentheses around that five log three, around that denominator. So I can type it in my calculator, log seven divided by parentheses, five log three, close the parentheses on the log, close the parentheses on the denominator, and when I do, I end up with x is equal to 0.354. Let's try another one that requires a little more algebra to get to the answer. Let's try 4 to the 2x minus 3 equals 17. We used log last time. We can use either one, so let's use ln this time. We'll use natural log of both sides, and that's going to grab the exponent and move it out front as a factor. To show that entire thing as a factor, I'm going to put the 2x minus 3 in parentheses before the log natural of 4 equals the natural log of 17. Now the natural log of 4 is just a number. It's kind of a weird number, but it is a number. So we can solve by distributing that natural log of 4 through the parentheses to get that x out of the parentheses. That's going to give me 2x natural log of 4 minus 3 natural logs of 4 equals the natural log of 17. Now that might look weird having those natural logs in there with the x's, but don't lose track of what we're doing. We're trying to solve for the x. And in problems where we've got x with plus and minus and multiplication in them, we have to get the x term alone by adding the 3 natural log of 4 to both sides. that's going to isolate the term with x. So we have 2x natural log of 4 is equal to the natural log of 17 plus 3 natural log of 4. We can't combine those natural logs at all on the right side. Just leave them like they are. That's not a problem. We can still put that in our calculator here in just a minute. The x then is multiplied by both the 2 and the natural log of 4. So we'll divide off both the 2 and the natural log of 4 on both sides. When I do, the 2's are gone, the natural log is gone, and x is equal to the natural log of 17 plus 3 natural log of 4 divided by 2 natural log of 4. Now when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to remember that all the natural logs are going to open up parentheses automatically, which means I need to close those parentheses. In addition, because there's more than one thing happening in the numerator on the top, we'll put an extra set of parentheses. And because there's more than one thing happening on the bottom, we'll put an extra set of parentheses around the denominator. So being very careful with the parentheses as we type this in, when I do, I'm coming up with x equals 2.522. Let's try one more example to get used to that algebra that's really required for us to solve these exponentials. Let's solve 7 to the 3x minus 5 equals 4 to the 2x plus 1. And we can use either log or natural log. I'm going to use natural log just because I'm lazy and I'd rather write two letters instead of three letters. 
on both sides, that's going to get the exponent out of there. The whole reason to take the log of both sides is to move the exponent to the front. Notice both of these had exponents, so both of them are going to move to the front of their respective logs. With multiple terms, we'll put them in parentheses. 3x minus 5 times the natural log of 7 equals 2x plus 1, also in parentheses, times the natural log of 4. Now just like our previous problem, we have to get rid of those parentheses to help us get at those x's. And the way we can do that is by distributing the natural logs through the parentheses. That's going to give us 3x natural log of 7 minus 5 natural log of 7 equals 2x natural log of 4 plus 1 times the natural log of 4. Now you might remember in problems in the past when we had x on both sides of the equation, we had to move all the x's to the same side of the equation. I'm going to subtract 2x natural log of 4 from both sides to get all the x's on one side of the equation. Then the terms without an x need to move to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to add 5 natural log of 7 to both sides. That way the 5 natural log of 7 is gone from the left and the x term is gone from the one on the right, giving me just, now notice these are not like terms. We cannot combine them in any way. So it's 3x natural log of 7 minus 2x natural log of 4 equals natural log of 4 plus 5 natural log of 7. Now that we've got the variable all on one side, we've got an x on both of those terms. That's a common factor of x that I can factor out, leaving 3 natural log of 7 minus 2 natural log of 4 in the parentheses equals the natural log of 4 plus 5 natural log of 7. Now that we've got x times this big ugly parentheses, we can get rid of it by just dividing by 3 natural log of 7 minus 2 natural log of 4 on both sides. And that'll reduce those out, leaving behind x is equal to the natural log of 4 plus 5 natural log of 7 divided by 3 natural log of 7 minus 2 natural log of 4. Now we're ready to put that into our calculator. But again, be very careful because every natural log will open a parenthesis. Make sure you close it right after the number. Also be careful, we need an extra set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator because there's more than one thing going on in there. And we need our calculators to know that whole thing is the numerator and that whole thing is the denominator. If I take care to type that in my calculator carefully, we should end up with x is equal to 3.627. And that's how we can solve an exponential equation when we can't get the same base on both sides.